Hello again. Great to be together, opening God's Word. Trust that things are at least going reasonably reasonably well for each one of you. Uh, I found uh, this uh, little nugget out of uh, chapter 26 of Proverbs, beginning with verse 20 today. And as we've been doing, just taking a small little portion, kind of spending a few minutes on it, and uh, just kind of taking that as our our thought for the day, something to contemplate. And uh, uh, so if you're new, just jump on in and keep keep hiking along with us, and we'll just enjoy the, the journey. But uh, this one is, uh, where, where there is no wood, the fire goes out. It's, it's very practical if you think about it. There's no wood in the, in the, in the it, you get no, you're out of wood inside and everything else is wet outside, the fire's just gonna go out, right? You know, it's just, it's, it's kind of simple. But where there is no wood, the fire goes out. And then it links this into a truth. And where there is no tail bearer, someone saying things and just talking nonsense, strife ceases that fire goes out, the fire of strife. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the inmost body. In other words, we take that in, and it just kind of becomes... It, it, it assimilates into our being. We take that in and it becomes, you know, think about sometimes somebody's maybe caught you off guard and you didn't have time to stop them. They're just kind of flapping about something, telling you about some somebody. And you don't even really know this person. And then you meet them later. You've got this preconceived view of who this person is and you don't even know them because somebody has said something inappropriately and so I am and you are largely what anybody says of us when we're not around, right? That's the truth, is, is that I am and you are largely what anybody says we are and who we are when we're not around. We're not there to, for them to see us or interact with us personally, so the identification is what, what's been told to them. And so this is, this is kind of a, a double-edged, a, a two-sided coin today. There's one, we need to recognize this when this is happening and it's going on around us and we need to step away from it. Hey, I'm not interested in hearing that. No, thank you. You know, you, you, we can graciously just get out of those kind of conversations. Hey, you know, that's a lot more information than I need to know or, or whatever you need to say to just kind of get away from that. I have to do that. You have to do that. Okay, that's one side of it. Then there's also the side of I need to be careful and you need to be careful. We need to be careful that we're not doing this. That we're not saying things like this and, and say, you know, creating a contentious environment or causing strife. You know, a contentious, someone who's always finding fault is contentious and it kindles. It, it's like striking the, the match to light a fire of strife. Now, what I, I, what I like about this is where there's no wood, the fire goes out. So I want you to think about strife and bitterness Think with me now just for a minute, stay with this. Strife, bitterness, um, unforgiveness. You realize you and I have to keep chopping wood to keep that fire going. We gotta work hard mentally and emotionally to keep the level of angst and unforgiveness alive. God wants you and me to let that go. So what I found is this, this is true. If I have stuff going on in my mind that's unhealthy, I just try and give that all over to the Lord and just not talk about it. Just give it to God and let God deal with me on it. And if I have something I need to say to someone, I should just use Matthew 18 as my guideline. Speak the truth to someone in love, share my heart about something, and move on. And that's it. And, and just... But man, you don't want to harbor unforgiveness and keep chopping wood and keep filling the, because you can do it in your mind is what I'm trying to say, even if you're not verbalizing it. Good words for us to think on. Let's let this stuff go. Lord, would you help us to release unforgiveness and bitterness and let it be distant from us that we might walk in the newness of life and be forgiving and understanding just as you are with us. God bless you. Have a great day.